Well, hello there, kids. It's great to have you watch this children's time and message for you. My wife, Cindy, told me that when she was a little kid, maybe your age, she played a trick on her sisters. Uh, Cindy got two coins, and then she invited her sisters to choose which of the two coins they wanted to pick. And Cindy said they always picked the big one, a five cent piece. And then Cindy kept the dime, which is smaller, and which is worth 10 cents. So that was a trick my wife played on her sisters. In today's gospel, we hear people trying to trick Jesus about money, about taxes as well. But you know what? Jesus not only knew money, but he also knew God very well. And so Jesus tells us that we should trust God more than anything, even more than money. If you ever look at a one dollar bill and turn it to the back side, it actually says right on our money, in God we trust. So even our money reminds us to put our ultimate trust in God because other things, other people, they may trick us. But Jesus wants us to trust God enough that we would give all of us, not just some money, to God. Because what God really wants is our love. God loves us, you and me, and blesses us with many things that we have. But what God wants from us is that we love God, and we can show that by loving other people, maybe by giving money to those who are poor, who are hungry, who are cold. So today, we are reminded by Jesus that when we offer God our money as an offering, for example, that we to do two things. First of all, you and I express to God that we are very grateful for what God has given to us. And secondly, we show to God that we trust God to give us the things we need and that we can give away some of it, including our whole devotion of worship to God. So please let me pray with you. Dear loving and generous God, help us to trust in you. Show us that everything comes from you and that we can give you everything, including our whole life. This we pray through Jesus Christ. And all God's children say aloud, Amen. That's right.